this is going to be my current favorites. Instead of doing a monthly favorites thing, I'm just going to start calling them current favorites because I always do them at very random times. I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to crack open a spin drift right now. It's sparkling water and squeezed fruit. This is a grapefruit one. I first found out about these, I was at an outdoor movie with Geo and they were passing these out for free and I was like, well, I'm not crazy about sparkling water, but I like free things. And I took the lemon one and the lime one. Lemon and lime are definitely my favorite. Geo likes the grapefruit, but lemon and lime is like ugh, nice and sour and mm, so good. It's so real. It's crazy how real it tastes like it's not flavored water it's truly there's like pulp in there like if you pour this out there's like grapefruit pulp love it very refreshing delicious um next up let's go into perfume because i always have to mention perfume because i am a perfume junkie uh i got another shipment from scentbird i got three new scents that i have never tried before perfect for the transition from spring to summer so let's go through. So this one is In Full Bloom by Kate Spade. And I know I've come across this perfume a couple times on their website because you can filter by uh, the note that you like. And I love rose very, very much. So I know that this is a rosy scent and I knew the minute I opened it before I even looked at the label. See, this is how it works. They give you a month's worth of perfume for under $15 a month. So it's pretty amazing. And you can stick it in your purse. But anyway, before I looked at the label, I just went like this and I knew it was a rose scent and I was very happy because this time I didn't pick out my own fragrances. I let them surprise me. So yeah, In Full Bloom by Kate Spade. This one is good for like a lunchtime picnic or brunch with the girls. It's a very sophisticated but youthful sparkly scent. I really like this one. This one is a brand I hadn't even heard of, Roja and it's called Elixir, and this one I think is my favorite they sent me. Yeah, it's definitely my favorite. I feel like there's definitely vanilla in there, which anything with vanilla really gets me. And it smells definitely darker than the Kate Spade. So I would wear this for dinner. It's not really a nightclub scent, but if you're going to like a beach club or a night for dinner on vacation, which I'm definitely bringing this with me to Hawaii, it smells sophisticated, but sexy, but not too serious. So I really like this one. I'm curious about what other perfumes they make. And then this one, the final one they sent me is by Toka, which I was familiar with. I know a lot of, uh, I know I've seen Toka products in different stores. And this one is Simone, which I love the name because Simone is the name of my French teacher. So I love her. And this one is also a spring into summer, perfect combination. It's very sunny. And there's like a cutting, I don't know if it's citrus, but there's like a sort of cutting note there. But most of all, it's a very womanly floral that smells uh, already like, like it's been sitting on skin for a little bit, like sunshine floral. So if you guys are into perfume, if you want to try out some new fragrances before deciding on a big bottle, I always talk about Semperd as a great option just because not all of us can just dish out a hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars on a big bottle of new perfume if we haven't even tried it. And most of the time, some of the little samples that you get from stores, they're just not enough to wear it enough to know if it really fits with you. Like to wear it to dinner and then during the day and to the beach and to the club and on a date. Like I like to wear my perfumes when I'm testing them out in different scenarios to really feel like, okay, this feels like me. This feels like a good fit. So I really love Scentbird for that reason. Um, check them out. I'm gonna leave everything below. I have a discount link for you guys. And uh, thanks to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. I love working with you guys and I really appreciate your generosity. So I have been using a new line of skincare called Honor MD. They're actually a Los Angeles based skincare line. They're Beverly Hills based actually. And I know the owners. Um, it's funny enough, I met them at my cousin's birthday party at a hotel pool. A couple years back. The couple is Dr. John Diaz and his wife Ursula and uh, Dr. John Diaz is a plastic surgeon here in LA in Beverly Hills and his wife Ursula is an incredible uh, pioneer in the clean beauty industry. They are mixing the luxury feel, the high class feel of a skincare line created at a plastic surgeon's office and then also consciousness, eco-consciousness, all of the bottles are in glass. I appreciate that so much. It's so much more eco-friendly and it goes to show they really 
we're going the extra mile to care for the environment. It's certainly more expensive for them than to package in plastic, but I can really appreciate it as someone who notices those things. Um, and then, you know, vegan, cruelty-free, no phthalates, no artificial fragrance, even beyond the ethics of it. It's great for sensitive skin and it's great for people who need to be careful about what they're using on their skin, which is honestly all of us. This new line really, really caught my eye. I knew I wanted to try it out for you guys. And uh, if I liked it, I knew I also wanted to promote some Latino-owned businesses. So I reached out to Ursula. I was like, hey, your new line seems incredible. I'm reading all about it. Would you mind if I tried out the line? So I've been testing it out for about two months now. My two favorite products from the line are the Tropical Mist, which is a pH balancing toner. And it has CoQ10 and hyaluronic acid. I especially look out for hyaluronic acid in my skincare products because I can tend to get dry around here especially. And when I do, fine lines start to show up that I didn't have before. So having a little extra step to even boost my serums more with you know the hyaluronic acid and ways to balance my skin after washing it balance the pH I love it plus it smells incredible and there are no artificial fragrances so you get the best of both worlds I love the large size I'm not even close to running out of it yet and I use it day and night and then my number one like the star of their line to me is the genetically blessed super antioxidant serum so alpha hydroxy acids are something I've been using for several years uh, chemical exfoliants in general just because I have had history with major texture problems in my skin um, clogged pores bumps uneven skin tone hyperpigmentation because I am Latino I can scar pretty dark and my skin is crazy smooth my pores are smaller than ever I also love that I don't have to like go get a peel to look like this because sometimes when people get too many peels you can tell you know what I mean like their face looks glassy I love to achieve high high skin results with natural products and without spending too much money so I love that I can get these results in my own home the way it makes your skin look it's kind of like you've used a primer but you're not wearing anything um, that's what how I would describe the results of this so I'm really really into this serum and so glad to have it in my medicine cabinet by the way I am not sponsored to say any of this I just am super grateful that Ursula sent me the kit to try out and uh, no strings attached she's just like try the line and we'll see how you like it so I appreciate that so much and if you guys are like me and you are a fan of hyaluronic acid uh, you can also get their Hope 2O Facial Moisturizer. It's actually a hyaluronic acid serum. So I like to layer this under a really thick moisturizer just because my skin is so dry. But I use this in the daytime and then this one at night because this is more tingly. It has those dramatic effects and I really want it to be able to work for a while. So I like to sleep in this one. Shout out to Dr. John and Ursula. You guys are awesome. Keep killing it and hopefully I'll see you at another pool party soon. So my new apartment doesn't have a dishwasher and it's just so cute and vintage that I was like, whatever, I'll deal with it, it's fine. Um, a lot of people don't have a dishwasher. So I am washing dishes by hand and I probably should use gloves but I just hate the feeling of latex against my hands, I don't know why, so I'm kind of postponing it. So I've noticed that washing with the hot water or even warm water and the dish soap and all of that just kind of takes a toll on my hands immediately after I wash my dishes. My hands feel so dry and tight and uncomfortable. And so I've been doing some extra hand care to keep them nice. I've been using the Lush Salted Coconut Hand Scrub. This is right by my kitchen sink and I use it after I do a big load of dishes. I use it and it's just a little uh, sea salt and coconut scrub. Smells great, nice and coconutty, good for summer, and it leaves my hands feeling really soft, and it's just a nice thing to do. It just feels really good, actually. But what I've been using before bed is the Cure Nourishing Cuticle Oil by London Town, so I use that on my cuticles, and it smells amazing. And my favorite hand cream, OMG, is the Gordissimo uh, Creme de Mange Nutritivo. Right, my Portuguese friends? Um, it's the Fat Moist Hand Cream by Ben Amore. And I got this in Portugal when I was in Lisbon and I bought two tubes. So once this runs out, I still have another one. But uh, it smells incredible and is so rich and like fatty. It's so perfect for my hands when they are just like devoid of all hydration. So that's my little hand routine. 
Uh, for hair care, I've been really loving the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask, not only because it has the word Geo in it, but it is uh, an Allure 2018 Reader's Choice Award winner, um, and it's one of the, it's a clean beauty line. There are no harsh sulfates, silicones, or parabens. It's cruelty free. It's a nice texture between a really heavy deep conditioning sort of balm and a light almost gel. It's kind of like a heavy gel texture. So it's definitely the lightest hair mask that I've ever tried. I usually gravitate towards really heavy ones because my hair is so thick, so coarse, and I just think that that's going to help tame it. But this has actually been really, really nice. I use it probably once a week, once every week and a half. Three makeup items quickly. The Derma Blend Flawless Creator Multi-Use Liquid Pigments. This is basically a foundation for me in every video except this one. I just decided to switch it up today because I was like, okay, I should start using my other foundations to work through them evenly. Um, in every other video you've seen of me in the past month, I've been using this. I got it when I was in chest. I needed some stage makeup and I was in the Derma Blend section looking at tattoo cover up and I was like, I wonder if their foundation is it's probably great for stage makeup. So it's awesome. Ooh, my, my shade rubbed off. So when I go to buy this again, I have no idea what I am. But it's a, little bit, it's a little bit too golden for me right now. I mean, I can blend it down my neck, but I could probably find a better match. So it's not really the end of the world. But in general, love this. It's a, sort of like a serum type of thing. It's a really thick foundation, but it goes on really natural. I only use a tiny bit and I don't need concealer. So when I use it, it covers up any like sort of scarring or discoloration here. It covers up my redness that's always here and it just evens out my skin and that's that. So it's amazing. Love that. I love the MAC Humor Me Mineralized Blush. I got this for contour when I was, come on, open up, when I was in chess as well. And it's the first time I've used this shade and I used to be like a MAC junkie. So I just never used the mineralized blushes really, but I love it. I now use it for contour, but also an overall bronzer because I don't like to use too many products and it looks super, super natural. Love that. And finally, the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter in Magnificence. And my mom gave this to me. She was like, oh, I don't really want it anymore. She gave it to me in the winter and I'm obsessed with it. So beautiful. It's like putting rose gold molten rose gold on your face. It's actually too dark for me to use as a highlighter just up here. It would be like a stripe of pink. So I use it as I would a blush, but it's extremely illuminating. Two lifestyle slash household products. The gold turmeric tonic blend for well-being and mood boost. Um, this I also got from Scentbird. They sent me some of their like skincare and beauty products because now they carry those as well. So you will see in my recent chill Sunday vlog, I have been heating up almond milk, adding some of this, stirring it in, and then adding some maple syrup for sweetness, and I love it. If you guys have ever had Mexican hot chocolate, that's exactly, well not exactly, but that's very, very close to what it tastes like for me. For a long time I had another turmeric, like a golden milk powder, and first of all, I had to put it in my Nutribullet to get it to dissolve. Otherwise, it was chunky and I had chunks of powder in my mouth no matter what I did. And uh, I even used a whisk, which is what I use with this, and it's just fine. It just wasn't really good. I had to add so much maple syrup to make it drinkable for me. But this, with the cacao, it's very much like a spicy Mexican hot chocolate. So I would be drinking this now, but it is far too hot. I have been really loving this in the morning. Um, it's kind of like having a nice strong cup of coffee, but it's not coffee. And the mornings have actually been pretty chilly here and where I moved, it's not really so hot. The area of LA, it's not like in the valley anymore. So the mornings are nice and cool and I've been really loving this and absolutely will purchase this again. I made my own room spray out of my Little Barn Apothecary Balance Mist. I liked this and then it started burning my eyes. So I, I used it all the way through. I was starting to use it like on my body as a refresher, but I was like, ugh, I can't get this again, like too much. So, uh, but I do love the packaging and glass. You can always recycle glass and even recycle it in your own home, you know, repurpose it. So I created my own room spray. This is a combination of orange essential oil, lime, and ylang ylang, or ylang ylang, which someone told me that's how you say it. Probably wasn't perfect, but I tried. 
So yeah, it smells amazing, it's very summery, it's really like invigorating, but then the Ylang Ylang gives it a nice floral feminine touch, so it's not too um, citrusy. It's elegant. The Ylang Ylang makes it kind of an elegant scent. And I just kind of like did it until I liked the balance of the fragrances. I'm not sure, it's not like it was like 10 parts this, you know, 5 drops this, 7 drops this, it just was... It is what it is. I, I, I found a balance that I liked. I'm really proud of myself for making my own room spray. And two bonus items, books that I've been loving. I finished Sputnik Sweetheart while I was in San Francisco. I love it. Haruki Murakami is possibly, I mean, I would say he's my favorite contemporary author of fiction. And um, I love this book. Um, if you like existentialism, uh, a mix of fantasy and real life, Ah, there's so much humanity in his books. Like, it, it's so relatable. It's like he describes emotions and situations and feelings that you, prior, only thought you felt. You know? It, you just feel so understood as a human. He just has such a good grasp on the darker side of, of human beings and, and the way that we think and how we process death and loss, but it's not overdramatic and it's not depressing. Um, it kind of reminds me of French existential literature, but a little less depressing. So check it out, Sputnik Sweetheart. It's basically about this woman who goes missing on a Greek island. Her friend and her boss are trying to locate her, and there's sort of like secret gay love happening. It's kind of a love triangle, and it's it's a really beautiful book. And then another one for you nonfiction lovers is uh, another actually <laughs> Japanese book. It's not by a Japanese author, I don't think, based on her name at least. But it's the book of Ikigai. Discover the Japanese secret to a long and happy life in just 12 weeks. So it basically guides you through day by day of 12 weeks to really figure out your purpose, your life path, what makes you happy, what makes you thrilled to be alive, and it will kind of help you get back on track to finding the zest of life. I haven't run through the whole program. Uh, when I tried to start, I got very, very sick, and so I wasn't able to enjoy the challenges. I just needed to take care of my, myself first. So it's something I'm gonna be doing in the summer into the fall, and I'm really excited about it, but I've read through the whole book, and I know what the challenges are, and I know the lessons that they talk about, and each concept, and I think it's great. I think anybody who likes self-help, nonfiction, um, uplifting mental health, positive books, uh, if you like Marie Kondo, it's kind of a similar thing, to simplify your life, to find what sparks joy, and to create a life that sparks joy. So that's the book of Ikigai. And those are my current favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh my goodness, I am gonna take this off as soon as I am done filming. And uh, I will talk to you guys on the flip side. Check out my social media down below if you wanna follow me and my life on the interwebs. Love you guys very much. Talk to you soon. Mwah. Bye guys.